Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. I tell people all the time, please wear thick socks. Stay tuned. All right, guys. Ooh, no coffee today, but we got a contribution to Wilson Viardo Tune Pro. That's awesome. Uh, Leighton Lum hooked me up today. So Leighton, thank you so, so much for your contribution. Um, if you want to contribute to my Barado Tune Pro, uh, please do it at buymeacoffee.com forward slash tennis spin. Thank you so, so much. My man Dan will definitely be happy because <laughs> his work wife will be back and I'll start seeing him more and more again. Uh, if you want to just contribute in general, super thanks is the way. Link is below. Thank you guys so, so much. Yeah, I haven't seen Dan much anymore because we took his work wife away. Hmm. All right, guys. So this past weekend, Coach Gu was in that memorial tournament. He actually got very, very far. He got to the semis and eventually lost to... Uh, um, the, uh, the, the finalist who lost. So he lost to, uh, Hugo Hashimoto, but it was a, a battle. Uh, during his first match, he played Noah Williamson in which we had a video on. He actually tore up his big toes in the bottom. So imagine these are his big toes, like the bottoms, like the skin, like tore off. I was like, oh my gosh, when he showed them to me, he, and, and I was like, coach, you all right? He said, um, it must have been my adrenaline because I didn't feel a thing until I took my shoes off. So literally, if you can imagine the skin from here to here, like peeled off on both his big toes. I was like, oh crap. And then I looked at his socks. His socks were like ultra thin. They were like, like running socks. Like, like these at least have padding on the front and the back, but his socks were just like thin. You know, they were like walking socks, running socks are thinner. Um, so basically it had no cushion. It didn't fill in the shoe. What was it doing? Well, absorbing his sweat, but he was probably moving around in the shoe so much that he lost his skin off his big toe. Hanlon, great match as ever. Oh man, thank you so much. Next week, same time, same bad channel. All right, my buddy Hanlon and I have been playing for over 20 years with each other. I'm so glad that I have found my tennis buddy. And we just happened to kind of started playing, right? So the number one problem with tennis is if you don't have a buddy like Hanlon, you don't play tennis. Because I wouldn't have been able to play for 20 years without him. And that's when player court comes in. There's over 27,000 people registered that you can play with. Just check out playercourt.com forward slash tennis spin. There's a tennis buddy waiting for you. So that's why I tell people if you're a tennis player and you have foot problems of any type, whether it be calluses or blisters, uh, you have flat feet like myself, uh, you have bony heels, uh, uneven toes, uh, thin socks are not the way to go because not only will you be sliding around in your shoe, you'll actually cause more damage to your foot because of all the stopping and going 
you could actually, you know, break a foot to tell you the truth or break a toe one day. So I tell people like buy the thick socks, like these Thorlows that, I mean, there's, there's a thicker version of this. This is the gray one. Like this will fill in the gaps. Like when you put your sock on and you get into that shoe, it fills in everywhere. It provides like padding to your foot and your arch. It gives you, especially a brand new pair will give you cushion. And what else will it do? It will fully, well, depending on how much you sweat, but it'll absorb a majority of your sweat and not have you slide around in the shoe so much. So this is the gray one. There's actually a tan colored one that's even thicker that I you know, recommend if, if you want the ultimate cushioning. So you can easily do this with two pairs of socks too. So if you have two pairs of running socks at home or any type of, you know, I don't know, I, I say tube socks, but I don't know what they're called anymore today. Double up on them. Wear two pairs, one over the other. And then when you're done playing, take one pair off or take them both off and air out your feet. I know everybody complains to me. Oh, my foot gets so hot. My foot gets so hot. Man, you must have sensitive feet in more ways than one. But I, I mean, I'm for one, I'm one of those people who actually don't feel my foot being hot. Maybe I have no feeling in my foot. I don't know. But if, you know, if, if, if you have any kind of foot problems, go with a thicker sock. I will bet you it will cure whatever ails you in your foot. I know sometimes it fills in too much and it's a little, you know, it, you feel tight in that shoe. Give it a minute, okay? Everybody's like, oh, this is too tight. Just give it a minute. Give it five minutes. Let it settle in. Everybody's like, this is uncomfortable. I, I really can't do this. I'm like, just breathe, relax. It'll be fine. So guys, don't be like Coach Goo. Wear some thick socks. Okay? You'll thank me for it later. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.